welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing okay and i had a lovely day i am currently sat and filming this whilst the weather is just like awful it's literally lashing it down so i've got myself a cup of tea and i'm ready as you probably guessed by the title of this video i'm just going to be doing a bit of an advice video today and giving you some advice on how to start your price list as a beginner i know i get quite a few questions on this and i know it is a bit difficult to start out and basically know what to do and what to charge people and then obviously having the situation of increasing your prices as and when your quality of your work gets better so i thought that i would basically just do a video and explain how i did it um obviously you don't have to do it like this it's just to basically say how i did it and um a few people that i've mentioned it to in the past i found it quite helpful so i yeah thought i would just put this video together and um yeah just let you know some little tips that i used and have found work quite well for me so yeah let's get a cuppa and we'll get into it so like i said it can be really difficult to know what to charge as a beginner because obviously you are still like learning and your work isn't going to be the best when you're first starting out but the at the end of the day you do need to be charging for your products because they do cost money they are really expensive so you need to sort of be at least charging for those and make a little bit of profit on the side um so i know i really struggled as a beginner to know what to charge people especially when i was practicing on family and friends because it was always you'd feel as though you wouldn't want to charge people for the work that you do but at the end of the day like i say you are using products so you do need to cover the cost of those i'd say that is one mistake that i sort of definitely made very very early on um i was too scared to charge people anything even to cover the cost of products but at the end of the day you can't be you know using products and doing nails on people and not getting anything at least like maybe 10 pound or something towards like the products that you use i always found helpful so that definitely worked for me right at the beginning but what i would suggest and basically how i did it i basically made my price list that i basically would aim towards so when i was fully happy with my work i made up a, a price list of what i would want to charge people when i was 100 percent happy with my work obviously i know that it would take months you know maybe even a year plus to get to where i want to be and feel as though my work is worth what i'm charging but what i did as i did this price list i made it exactly as i wanted it to be and then i would apply discount to that price list as and when i sort of felt more confident so at first i would say you know if i had any client queries or anything i would send somebody my price list and say because i'm a beginner i'm currently offering 50 percent off my price list at the moment and this would then attract people in because obviously uh, you are looking for models at that time and you, you're trying to sort of expand your experience with it all and you're just trying to find your feet with it so that did um obviously then help cover the cost of the products but then obviously you weren't charging too much when you're just starting out and maybe your sets could do with a bit of practice so yeah that's what i did at first i basically just said that it was 50 percent off my price list basically my thought process behind that was the fact that my clients would then know what i intend to charge and then i wouldn't have any awkward sort of like price increase conversations like then i think that you are getting across what you intend to charge but as you're a beginner you're currently offering 50 percent off your price list and then as and when you got more confident just less the discount so obviously you can let your clients know this 50 percent is maybe up until three months down the line or basically whenever you felt confident so i basically just changed it from there and basically said you know as and when i felt confident then i could decrease the amount of discount that i was offering off my price list then i think it did help a little bit as well with the lockdowns because i didn't really have any sort of routine to my clients or the work that i was doing because i was constantly interrupted with lockdowns and yeah so that was definitely one aspect that helped me i didn't really get the chance to sort of get in any routine with any clients or anything 
So that was a quite helpful for me because as and when then clients approach me for any price list or anything, then I could obviously let them know whatever the discount was off my price list. And then like I say, it then saves any awkward conversation with any price increase. Rather than setting your price, price you say at £15 a set when you were first, first starting out and then saying to somebody, oh, by the way, like I've upped my prices, at least if you've sent them the price list that obviously you intend to charge, then they already know what you are going to be expecting, if that makes sense. So I basically found that that technique worked really well for me. Um, I did actually end up increasing my price list from that. So after the third lockdown, I basically, we were in lockdown for probably about four months and literally non-stop through lockdown, all I was doing was practicing and my, my confidence was built from that. And I felt a lot more confident doing sets and I basically just had a lot of time to, to practice. So from that, because my confidence and my work had improved, I then basically created a new price list and then just put it on my highlights on my Instagram story so that anyone could go on my Instagram and see what my, my prices are. And then, you know, obviously if they want to message me and book in, then that's fine. Um, but if they didn't, then that's fine as well. So yeah, I did end up doing a price increase um, for my price list. But obviously at that time when I was just coming out of lockdown, like I say, I didn't really have any sort of um, repeat clientele at that point because the lockdowns had just like ruined everything for me. Um, but like I say, at the time I was doing a lot of friends and family as well. Like they literally take up quite a lot of my time at the moment because I work full time. So I only work in the evenings and weekends. So I have a lot of family and friends that I do. And then obviously um, clients that message me from Instagram or whatever, then I can do them as well, but they will see my price list from my Instagram highlights, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's basically how I did it. I also have the same price list for family and friends, but I just offer like a certain discount off that because that was another thing that I struggled with. I was basically doing a lot of friends and family and I wouldn't know what to charge people, especially if they were having different different sets, like if people were having gels, then other people were having acrylics. Some people would have like nail art, some people wouldn't have a nail art. So it was really hard to know what to charge people, but then at a discount. And then in the end, what I decided to do was just put my price list on my highlights. This would be the same for family and friends or clients. And then family and friends, I would just offer like a certain discount. So um, yeah, I found that so much easier to work with because it just avoids getting confused or charging people differently. And then it's just the same um, for everyone, basically. Tea break. Um, but yeah, so that is essentially how I did it. And like I say, it doesn't have to be the same for everyone. I just know that some people look for advice on this sort of stuff because it is really difficult to know what to charge and when and all that sort of stuff. Another thing that I just want to mention is obviously the area that you live in. I know obviously people sort of like to charge differently depending on where they live. Um, obviously like London areas are a lot more expensive than they are like where I live. Um, but if you need a bit of sort of guidance on it, then just find like another nail tech that works in your area and have a look at the sort of prices that they're charging. And you can sort of get a bit of inspiration or a bit of guidance as to what to charge for what. Because like I say, I know it does become a little bit difficult, especially when you start getting into nail art and things because nail art is really difficult to charge for. Um, but yeah, just remember to charge your worth because if your work is good, then you need to charge for it and because you definitely deserve it. So make sure you charge in what you're worth and just go with what you feel confident with. If your confidence is there and you believe in yourself and you believe in the work that you're producing, then you need to charge for that. Like that's just, you know, like you were all doing it to like earn a living. And at the end of the day, you just need to like, just make your price list and run with it because at the end of the day, like people will pay that. Do you know what I mean? Like. You don't want to be attracting clients because you're cheap. You want, you want to be attracting clients because your work is good and you deserve it. 
like people will pay for work that is worth that money so like just remember like to have confidence and believe in your price list and stick to it like don't think that you're not worth it because you definitely are so so yeah i hope this helps um at least some of you and obviously if you guys have different techniques then maybe drop them in the comments because there will be other people that like need advice on it as well and obviously this is just the way i did it so if you have any other suggestions just drop them in the comments and i'm sure everyone will find it useful yeah so um i hope this helps you guys um and like i say yeah if you have any other suggestions drop them in the comments below and um yeah i will go and finish my cup of tea now and stop rambling to you all i'm really sorry if i spoke too fast <laughs> um but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye